Rimuru's girlfriend Kurnoa is so powerful that for 19 volumes, he would have lost to her. And if it wasn't for her existence giving our boy a hint towards evolving into a virtual being, Rimuru would have died. Kurnoa with Hinata's consciousness 70 years ago also rescued Shizu Aizawa from Leon Cronwell's castle. She then trained Shizu, meaning technically Hinata trained herself later on when Shizu was her teacher. However, Kurnoa had to leave and also be sealed inside the holy coffin as the real Hinata showed up into the world. Moving to the present, Yuki the rat destroys the holy coffin that held the hero resulting in Kurnoa going on an insane rampage as upon awakening all that remained was that negative personality of Kurnoa. So she entered combat with Rimuru, Valdora, and Leon where she was holding her own. The only way Rimuru stopped her was because Chloe has a crush on Rimuru. So after she saw that he was alive in this timeline, Rimuru's future girlfriend was calmer. Then Diablo Pablo the goat also suggested a method to interact with the souls intertwined within Kornoa where Rimuru with Raphael's hacks put on the anti-magic mask on Kornoa leading him to enter Chloe's mental world. Here Rimuru found Chloe and Hinata trapped within infinity prison so with his intervention Chloe's power evolved into the ultimate skill lord of space-time Yoksotho and she became a manas or a virtual being meaning Chloe could now exist beyond the trapping of space time. Right after a reunion happens between Chloe, Hinata, Rimuru, and a nostalgic impression of Shizu, who actually guided Rimuru towards Chloe and Hinata inside the mental world, as Shizu is kind of like the thread that binds all of these guys together, especially that mask. Right after, Luminous and Rimuru both combined their powers to resurrect Hinata and Chloe after breaking the cycle of the time loop. Now that she's back to being herself, Chloe can switch freely between her child and adult form. And what if I told you she's even stronger now than she was as the hero who sealed Veldora away? This is because now Chloe has two hero eggs inside of her. In other words, the good version of a demon lord seed. One was from herself and the other from Hinata and both hatched. This makes her the only person to have two hatched eggs. On top of that, she now has another ultimate skill, Granville Rotso's Hope King Sariel. This is because before he died at the the hands of Luminous, he requested to give his ultimate skill to Chloe, viewing her as the hope of all mankind. The ultimate skill is also incredibly powerful, having three sub skills. The first being consecutive melt slashes. Remember, this is that really strong attack that Hinata used in season three against Rimuru that almost killed him. Yeah, well, Kurnoa now has the ability to like spam this shit. The second skill is life and death manipulation. The name kind of speaks for itself, giving Chloe the ability to control the two principles at she pleases. And finally, there is Fortitude, an enhancement skill which strengthens Chloe and her equipment. On top of having two ultimate skills, Hinata's Moon Rapier and Holy Spirit armaments were able to evolve into mythical great equipment over the 2000 years Chloe and Hinata were Kronoa. And naturally, being this powerful catches the attention of other strong people, including one guy. One guy. Guy Crimson. I'm sorry. Why did I say that? You see, the OG Demon Lord paid Tempest a visit for a meeting, and it was here where Guy noticed Chloe was broken as fuck. In other words, he realized that she was a true hero and wanted to see just how strong she was. This man immediately activated Time Stop and Chloe was able to respond, something Rimuru couldn't have even done at this point. She instantly changed into her adult form and was able to match Guy blow for blow. Guy was wasn't being serious here, but the point still stands. Chloe was able to go toe to toe with him, which is a very impressive feat and really showcases how far she's come in terms of raw power. After this, Chloe's next major involvement came in, you guessed it, the Eastern Empire's invasion of Tempest, when she along with the entire country was sent inside Ramirez's dungeon for safety. Chloe and Benimaru initially found spies within the labyrinth who were targeting Masayuki due to his striking resemblance to their emperor Rudra. I mean, that's because he is Rudra, but if you want to know about that, watch this Rudra a Masayuki video. Anyway, Chloe and Benimaru were able to easily defeat these fodder spies. And during the invasion, Chloe decided to aid in the defense of Tempest from the enemy forces. But even when the Eastern Empire forces were dealt with, Feldway and Michael finally got serious as they showed up personally alongside the Phantom Commanders Solario and Kornu with the intent to take out Ramirez and Masayuki. Chloe wasn't having any of this and came to Masayuki's aid, even fighting Feldway for a short period 
period of time. This is the first primordial angel. But then, Feldman realized Chloe had an angelic series ultimate skill and, uh, well... Fucking hell, man. I'm finished. Chloe's skills ego was awakened by Feldway's regalia dominion, allowing Sariel to possess Chloe and fight for Michael and Feldway. Due to how strong Chloe is, this wasn't great for Mimiru, but she wasn't going to just let the enemy use her as a puppet. Chloe was able to temporarily break free by trapping Sariel's ego within unlimited imprisonment, reverting the effects of Feldway's skill. However, this had massive consequences. Not only did Chloe revert back to her child form, but she also lost all access to her ultimate skills and the Manas Kronoa. But Chloe wasn't worried. I mean, even Rimuru offered to have CL grant her control again, but Chloe was confident that her own Manas was strong enough to come back. Plus, she didn't want to rely on her Pukyamin Rimuru awesome. anymore. And Chloe certainly delivered, as without her, Rimuru would be dead, six feet under, bamboozled for life. But you're probably wondering what could possibly kill the number one goat. Well, Feldway launched his attack with Michael and lured Rimuru out to Demon Lord Dagaru's domain as a trap. So when Rimuru arrived, Michael ganked him, immediately using Time Stop to take out all of Rimuru's subordinates, including Diablo. At this point, Rimuru could perceive what was happening in Time Stop, but he still couldn't freely move around. And so Michael was about to end this man's entire career. Suddenly, Chloe stepped in and saved her boyfriend with her regained powers. While CL worked her magic to find a way to bypass Michael's time stop, Chloe fought in a 1v1 against Michael himself. Remember, in time stop, only skills using information particles are effective. The laws of physics are thrown in the trash and defensive abilities are useless. And yet, Chloe was able to match Michael in both physical and informational particle strength. You know, like physical strength and information particle manipulation. Uh, that, that's, that's bad. Seriously though, Michael is one of the strongest characters in the series, but I guarantee you he didn't account for someone whose power is literally time manipulation. And then Chloe took this man out in the most disrespectful way, using the skill Reverse Fate to turn back time to a point where Michael was just a skill with no ego or personality, causing his vessel to disintegrate into nothing. And then she stole Michael for herself. She legit talk no jutsu this man, saying that she felt bad because all he wanted was to bring back Daddy Valdanava, but he just lost his weight. Then the voice of the world realized Chloe had the embodiments of three ultimate skills now, courage, hope, and justice, three attributes of a true hero. So she evolved her ultimate skill one more time into space-time god Yoksotho. We don't know the specifics of this power yet, but Chloe's power is now insane, making her practically a goddess who has total authority over all space and time, with an EP that according to CL is incalculable. But if I were to guess, she probably stacks up to the likes of Guy Crimson if she uses 100% of her power. Funnily enough though, this Michael was only a copy, and so Chloe destroyed the time stop and told Ramiru to go deal with the real one. Also, she kissed him. Uh, you know, that happened, cementing the relationship while Rimuru's wife CL got pissed at her. She told them, you better not be doing this shit again, bitch. Uh, watch this video on screen right now. It's another banger. 